Let's unbox some speakers. Here are speakers called Broadman FS5s, I think. I don't know the name 100% because I know what they look like and I purchased these. And I don't understand this box, by the way. Can I just point out that to any postal carrier, do not lay flat, do not stack, and this side up doesn't make any fucking sense. So I'm going to lay it flat and uh, cut this. So I haven't bought speakers since it's stapled. Okay, I'm not on that side. I haven't bought speakers. When was the last time I bought speakers? I don't remember. That's how long it's been, because, you know, I'm usually, like, Micah even sends me the speakers. Triangle sends me their speakers. When was the last time I bought speakers? Anyway, I bought these speakers not new. They're showroom demos, and I spent $2,000. When these are new, these were $6,000. And they're a very special speaker, and they fucking better be if I'm spending two grand that I don't have on speakers that I don't fucking need. So let's unbox them. And it came in four different boxes and they're very small. I think I need to do this on the floor. I'm not 100% sure. Um, Broadman is one of those companies that doesn't exist at like Magnolia. Or even if you go to 10 audio shows in a row, they're at like one of them. And they're Danish? I think they're Danish. I think they're Danish. And I heard them when I was very, very young in this channel, like 2016. I think my first trip out to, to Denver for the Rocky Mountain, there was a room that had like three or four Broadman speakers. And they had like the big $30,000 ones and these like $10,000 ones, these little tiny $5,000 ones. And when my friend and I knew we were at the audio show for too long, um, was when we heard them say these are $5,000 and we went, that's actually reasonable. That's when you know. That's when you know you've been in an audio show or in the audio world for too fucking long because when the $5,000 speakers is a reasonable price, you've you fucked up. What is this? It's like insulation sound dampening board. I should keep that. Um, so we heard these speakers, these Broadmans, and they were all I could talk about, and they were unaffordable at, you know, $5,000. I was just a starting, I was a kid YouTuber basically back in 2016 or 27, 2016? I forget what we drove out there. It had to be 2016 because I had just moved to the apartment. I was like being on my own. We're gonna take a road trip across America to go to the Rocky Mountain Audio Fest and I'm gonna hear these speakers once, heard these speakers once. And I, when I was at Capital Audio Fest this year, 2022, well, that was last year because it's 2023, but the last Capital Audio Fest of 2022, um, I saw one of the rooms was labeled Broadman, and I'm like, oh, ah, Broadman, ah, Broadman. I start screaming, Broadman, I haven't seen them in years, fucking decades, fucking millenniums. Millennia? Millennia. So, yeah, that's why they tell you not to stack it, you'll destroy these pins. Let's see if they're all straight. So I, I, I found the rep, and I'm like, hey, you're, are there any Broadman speakers in there? And he went, no. So Broadman Acoustics, he represents but he didn't actually have any Broadman speakers in the room. And then I got to talking with him and bullshitting as one does. And if you bullshit an audio show, eventually, one of these days, it'll cost you money. And we got to the point of these speakers, I was describing them as, yeah, those are the FS5s, or the F5s, pasta, I could link you to them, um, if you ask, as soon as I figure out what the fuck they're called. Those are the FS5s, and we have two sets. Floor models, one we used was a floor demo model, and the other one was just for presentation pictures, and we put it away. I said, they're both for sale, $2,000. And I'm like, oh, is it Zios? Has Zios been comfortable enough in his own skin to actually spend $2,000 on a pair of speakers he doesn't need? And the answer is yes. I thought maybe I'd bought these up and make them pass as a Christmas gift. Baby, do you want these speakers? Wait until you see them. Cause I don't want to like, speakers are a very personal thing. I know she wants me to do bigger speakers. Like she wants me to do like speakers. And it's like, well, I'm gonna have to try to get those people to talk to me, baby. It's gonna take some effort. But these, these are 
Like I can't even, if I review them, which I'm obviously going to, I can't even like profit from this review. This is solely losing money, 100%. I need to cut this all off, don't I? I haven't even gotten to the speakers. So the speakers that we heard in that room are teeny fucking tiny. In fact, all you have facing you is a single tweeter. And they're on little weird stands, these little weird stands that are like made out of like this specific wood that looks exactly like what I'm dealing with now. And this particular set is in a piano black where the one I heard saw was in rosewood back in the day. I'm assuming this is not the actual material that they packed it in, like I wanted to sell it. So I can probably open this up. So here you go. Here is, I'll do one side if I can, because it's just gonna take forever to unbox. So we've got speaker grill material. You've got brass pegs. And then you have this. Is this wood or aluminum? I think this might be wood. Anyway, that's a speaker grill and it's got one bent pin here. Fuck. That's just, just bent, just enough to be annoying. Do these screw in and unscrew? I shouldn't affect it going into it, but it is bent. Anything else here bent? Straight, 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 straight. So, okay. I have a set of white gloves I should take out for this. Let's move that there, put on top of my coat. I'm gonna quickly check for bent pins over here. Trying not to cut the finish of any of this. Uh, straight, straight, okay, those are straight. And then the other pins are here. Good, 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 relatively good. Okay, so my friend and I heard these speakers, haven't seen them since, that was five, six, six, seven, seven a lot of years ago. And um, I guess we'll just do one. We need the other parts of the bass first. I'm gonna play the bass, bro. Bro, where's that bass? Oh my. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is the bass. This is heavy as fuck. And a coffee cake. So, here's how you spell Broadman. One D, one O, two N's, Broadman. And that's one speaker. And this should be, it's a Quest style box. This should be the, the feet, the bass. Anyway, what, what shocked me about these speakers, and I've never heard its equal, was that they were so small and just filled the entire little hotel room that we were in. They're just, they were just like, all I wanted, they put to the bigger speakers and I didn't care for them. I was less impressed. I'm like, nah, these aren't as good. Give me the little ones again, give me the little ones. And the little ones kicked so much ass that I remembered Broadman. In fact, my friend would constantly say, have you heard anything as good as the Broadmans? And I've always been like, eh, not really. This is heavy, what is this? More of that interesting sound dampening. I can't wait to eat that, this is gonna be amazing. Okay. This is probably gonna require me to stop the camera at some point to put this together. Broadman speaker pucks. We've got stainless steel things. We've got whatever the fuck this is. There's no instructions. Um, they actually weren't, they didn't even have the original Broadman boxes. And then he was gonna ship them, he packed them. And then he was moving everything around in the store and found them. He found the original boxes. And I'm like, oh, can you repack it in that? Because safely shipping, $5,000, $6,000 speakers is very important. Especially if you want UPS, which I requested UPS, which cost me too much fucking money to ship these. Here are the brackets. You can tell when you're starting to get into really high-end speakers because they give you these, they give you the D. Here's the D. Okay. I'm gonna have to figure this out. He sent pictures of how he, he took it apart. So we got the D there. We've got two of these insanely giant, heavy things. These have to be the, the, the floor feet. 
or those are the verticals and these are the floor feet. These are the floor feet. These things are a million fucking pounds. Is this empty now? Yes, okay. So we had to make shift that box. Oh Jesus, I'm gonna do one of everything to try to make it so that you guys can under, oh, I don't wanna cut anything. The only scratches on this are very, very light scuffs from just existing. This is the bottom of this unit. Do a lot of tearing. Yeah, this is just literally a giant metal plate with a pretty, yeah, like that's a, that's a scuff there. So there's the base that goes in the floor. So that's good. Have rubber. It says brass, which is not good for my countertop at all. Just gonna put that down there. So that's gonna have to go there. This probably goes on the top here where i'm gonna i'll figure it out i'm gonna figure it out let's see what the speaker pucks look like and we'll open up one of those these are all of the hardware wow those are really nice that's really nice hardware oh jesus gods so these go through the top and down and that's how you do your speaker adjustments just like on the very expensive um, Kanto stands, they actually have a thread through the top and you can use an Allen key to adjust the height. But since these are fancy, I think Broadman is, is Broadman Danish? Here's the thing, I love these speakers. I never actually did any research on them because I was never gonna be able to afford them. And then I was able to afford them, zealed the guy the money and I'm just like, I haven't looked up anything about them. Cause they don't make them anymore. They're out of, they're, they don't make them anymore. So then you got that, and then you have both the lock nut for the bottom, and then your little your little pokey pokes. So I'll get one of these speakers entirely built and bring the camera back online. But we gotta get it all unboxed first. One of these, please. This is one of those I can't just rip into it with a goddamn knife moments, and I, it's killing me. a pair of speakers that Zio's actually sought after. So, sought after is the only word. This is just is never coming out. This is just literally a vertical heavy piece. And this is what hold this is what attaches to this. And then it goes up and then attaches. What is this made out of? Is this wood? Oh, that's a nice satin black. So you have three there, three there, slightly different to go here. I'm really, I'm gonna have to figure out exactly how this thing is making the go. Cause here's the other one of these, the other base. This has to go back down. We wanna get out the actual speaker for you guys to see. Of course, this is, this is all the stand so far. Not Stephen King's the stand, but like the stand. This is gonna actually contain a Broadman Oh, don't drop it. After all the fucking effort, don't drop it. Oh, I'm cutting the wrong spot. Things you don't want to hear during your circumcision. Okay. Oh my God, there's like 900 layers of tape here. This box has been opened and closed five million times because it was shipped to different display rooms. Where am I even gonna use these? I thought about putting them in the sunroom, but really to replace the $5,000 speakers in there with $5,000 speakers, like that doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna walk this out. If I could walk it out. Wow, that is in there tight. Okay, new plan. I'm gonna turn this completely down. We're gonna lift, lift the box off. Made in Austria. They're Austrian. 
you know, they're, they're not, these are not like, this is not Micah's, although I think Micah's might even still be better speakers. Um, certainly price performance wise, get off of there, you bitch. Oh, they, they're like vacuum wrapped. Oh, he went nuts. Oh, these are nice. These are made out of like, this is better than Kaizen foam. This is like yoga mat, yoga block foam. Yeah, this is gonna be one of those boxes that I never get rid of because I might need it. There, there's the actual dimensions. When I said these were the small version, I meant it. I see a terminal. I see two five-way binding posts. I almost feel like my kitchen counter is not clean enough to do this job, nor are my hands. I feel like everything's dirty. I'm just dirty. All right, I'm gonna peel the tape off this. Sorry if this is extremely long, but this is the first time I've had something in my home that I've actually, like, wanted for years. Like, this is, this is an audio product that I actually found and chased down and then decided on in like a whim. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Because they're not made anymore. You're not gonna find them. They don't, they're so rare. Like, there's like two dealers. This came all the way from California. Looks like a big piece of beef. Don't, probably shouldn't touch it like that. Yeah. I keep rubbing on my shirt. My shirt's relatively clean. What is this black saran wrap and how do I get some? Pasta, you wanna play with this stuff? This is some, this is fat life. I don't know what's going on. I see a driver. And I see remnants of like, some sort of cleaning solution. Now there is the tweeter. You actually don't need to use this. If you don't want to use the stands, you don't have to use the stands. But you kind of got to use the stands. So here's the bottom where that bracket goes. This is what faces you. This needs to be really cleaned. Oh my God like degreased and cleaned. There's a side that faces you, tweeter, Broadman. Back sealed, side five and a quarter. Two of those blew my fucking mind. There's nothing to it. It's not even a vented box. What if I hear them and they're just like, nah, 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 nah. I just, then they go in the yard sale. Congratulations to whoever wants to buy some Broadmans in the yard sale. That is a very black box. It's gonna need so much TLC. This this needs to be like refinished. Like you could see the swirling in it. My friend is obsessed with like paint corrections on cars. So that'll be, this will probably be his baby. I wonder what makes them so good. Unless I'm just crazy. Maybe I was high. Maybe I took like a candy and didn't know it. All right, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna stop this right now. And then I'm gonna assemble both of them, including the other side, and then I'll come back. Cool? Cool.